Kyriakopoulos. Was this your best match of the tournament so far? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think this uh, this was the, my my best uh, match in the in the tournament so far. Uh, I, yeah, I think I played a a great level. Charlie, congratulations. I saw a few days ago that you and your friends visited the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And I wanted to ask you what that experience was like, whether it gave you any inspiration, and why you think it is that you tower above everyone else right now because you're playing so well. Sorry, sorry, say it again. <laughs> <laughs> It was so long. Yes. What, <laughs> what, what did you enjoy most about the Eiffel Tower? And tower means to be above everybody else. So why do you tower above everybody else right now? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the Eiffel, uh, it's uh, an iconic monument uh, from here, from, from Paris, and uh, everybody wants to, to see it. And... Uh, and uh, yeah, he had uh, some day off, uh, some some moments, and uh, yeah, he take that that moment to to visit. Uh, for me, was uh, was great, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, that's nothing more to say. I think. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> You are so incredibly quick on the court. I wonder if in the last years you made any tests like a 60 meter sprint or 40 meters, and what was the result in, also what, what was the time? Uh, yeah, he, well, I'm working a lot uh, in the sprint. You know, I uh, do a lot of uh, sprint, like 30, uh, 40 meters, but uh, I don't count the, the, the time, honestly. Uh, I, so I don't know the, the time that the, I would I would take uh, if I made a race, you know, into the 30, 40 meters. Uh, I don't know honestly, but uh, I consider myself fast. <laughs> Hi, Carlos. Uh, do you ever hit a shot during a match and think? I want to see what that looked like and watch the video after. Yeah, uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of times, some some big thoughts I wanna uh, watch again the, in the screen during the during the match. And do you ever see an opponent or another player in a match you're watching hit a kind of shot and think that you want to learn how to do what that person did, and then do you work on that? Well, uh, not, uh, I mean, when I watch uh, uh, a shot fr from, the, from the opponent, I, I don't think that they wanna, I want to learn, learn it. I just want to uh, shot, a, well, hit a, a better shot during, during the match. You know, I want to, to, to make the, the hot shot, let's say, not uh, let him to uh, take the, the hot shot during the match. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, for a good while, you have had Juan Carlos as your wonderful coach, and you began early with your father. But you, could you talk a little about uh, Kiko Navarro? Uh, did he play a role in your career and learning the game? And could you just talk about him for me a minute, please? Well, obviously he he was uh, an important person for for me when I was young. But uh, I start I start uh, uh, playing tennis with my father. That's obviously. But uh, I had a, a, a first coach uh, named. Uh, Carlos Santos as well, and I work with Kiko and Carlos as well together when I was young, uh, and both uh, was a really important person for me that the, I learned a lot, a lot from from them, you know. But uh, it was some some day that the, I had to move on. I had to, you know, improve uh, uh, a lot. Uh, and it was it was uh, Juan Carlos the the, the person, but uh, of course I I I learned a lot from from that guys. 
Well done, Kalitos. Uh, I just want to know more about you know your childhood life. I think you, you definitely have so many childhood friends, and uh, you get along with very well. Uh, like nowadays, you, uh, professional tennis players aren't living like a, a normal person. Uh, but what kind of topics do you also talk with your childhood friends? And uh, could, uh, how do you balance the professional life with a normal person's? Well, of course, I have uh, a lot of a lot of friends, a, a lot of friends, you know. Uh, and when when I was a, a kid, and I still have the, that friends. Uh, and when I have some day off, you know, when I at home, I spend a lot of time with with them. That uh, for me is really important, you know, to turn off my my mind a little bit. But I have to. Uh, you know, uh, mix uh, the uh, you know the day off with uh, you know the the professional part. I have to to be focused on on the practice, to be focused on on the tournaments, and uh, you know I have uh, well the tennis schedule. You know the tennis player uh, have uh, not too much time. You know to to enjoy life, to uh, turn off your, your mind, uh, and for me, uh, you know have have the childhood friends from the when I was a kid to uh, you know enjoying life a little bit for me is really important as well. Hi Carlos, yeah, I wanted to ask you about your next round opponent. It could it could be Sitsapas. He's I think up by a couple of sets. You have a great record against him. Do you think, in a sense, that his game plays into you in the way the way that you play? And if you could talk a little about next round well first of all he has to to win it's not over you know <laughs> in a grand slam uh, everything can happen so he has to to win first so but uh, i i can talk uh about the the other guy offner because i have never played against him but if i if I played against Stefanos, it could be uh, a great match you know we we have played uh, great matches uh I, I won uh, every every match that uh, we've played, but uh, it doesn't mean that they're gonna I'm gonna win uh, every 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 match that uh, we're gonna play. So I have to to be really focused. He's uh, opening, uh, but uh, of course uh, his game is uh, is a good game for for my style. Hola, Carlitos. Um, we were talking to Novak earlier today. And he told us that the presence of his kids provides him with a lot of peace of mind and balance in this deep into the tournament, especially. What do you do for peace and balance? Well, I uh, I have uh, my family here, friends here, uh, and uh, of course my my team is. Part of my fam uh, is part of my family as well. Uh, I consider them uh, as a family. So uh, just stay stay with with them. You know, uh, make jokes, walking around, uh, turning my uh, my mind off of tennis. You know, the day off is, is really important for me. You know, to to have that peace and and balance during during the tournament. Thank you. ¿Qué tal, Carlos? Enhorabuena. Eh, el otro día dijiste que en el primer set